be like a flower child. Guinness. Say hi. Hi. Oh. Oh no, you look like the makeup. Hey everybody, I wanted to create a look I would wear to a music festival. I have steps to just do this. I also, you can stop there if you want, but I think if you're going to a music festival, music is sort of like a free spirit thing. It's self-expression, so is art, so is makeup. I kind of incorporate all three, and this is what I came up with. The flow is just, you know, go with the flow. Go with the wave of the music. Have fun. When you're going to be there, you know, you're going to be dancing and chill. This is for just a summer themed one, obviously, because of the flowers. They're bright and yellow. I made this yesterday. I think it's really cute. This might be a little bit too much for you, but if you like to stand out and don't want to look like the rest of the people, use colors that are your favorite. I love aqua colors. I happen to be an Aquarius too, so I love any Thing that's water flowy so this is a little bit of my own personality just use the colors that you like your favorite colors or something that goes with your outfit you know you don't have to use the same product or the same um, technique that I did but you can definitely come up with something similar if I had sparkles I would probably even add a couple little like rhinestones right there I think that would look fantastic but I don't have any on me right now unfortunately so if you want to find out how I did this look just stay tuned I primed my lid with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and then I put Shag on top of it. That's going to be my main color on the lid and a little bit on the bottom. And in the Lorac Pro Palette, I use Nude for the highlight in the brow bone. And then I'm going to put Espresso, which is a dark chocolate brown color, as my eyeliner and make a crease with that. Sort of a cut crease, but I blended it out with Sable and Taupe from the same palette. Using a blending brush, I'm just going to soften up the crease with that, just blending it back and forth. This is a liquid liner from Stila in the shade Turquoise and it looks really pretty. It's more of a very pale minty color and I'm going to line it very thin and then right underneath that, I actually used another liquid liner. It's just a black colored one. It's from Lorac. And I'm just going to use the black liner very close to my lash line. Just for the bottom, I'm going to be using Perversion by Urban Decay. It's a very intense black. And then I just use a little bit of the black eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro Palette and blend it out. I used a little bit of mascara from Kat Von D just on the lower lashes, the itty bitty lashes that I have, and to marry my false lashes to my real lashes on the top. This is Makeup Forever's Aqua Cream Shadow in the number 21. I'm going to use this as a base to draw out the blue pattern that I want. sort of drawing it wherever I want and filling it in here and there sort of giving the line a little bit more of a shaded effect so it's not just a line with color inside it then on top of that I use the NYX eyeshadow in irises and I'm just going to be putting that in the places that I want This is a beautiful deep blue color called a door. It's from Urban Decay. I am not sure if they have it anymore, but I have no idea why they took it away. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to put that in places where I just want like a very nice dark blue shadowing effect. This is NYX Shadow in Summer Green. And I'm just going to putting it on only in just two little random spots to give it a little bit more variation so it's not all entirely blue. This is one of my favorite eyeliners from Urban Decay called Covet. And it's a very nice metallic jade green. It's just so pretty. Oh my god, it's like a very pretty peacock color. I love it. I'm just going to line with it and make little fishy marks above my eyebrow and put it right underneath my lower lash line. 
For the lips, I used NYX Jumbo Lip Pencil in Chaos. I outlined it with that, and then I filled it in with Sweet Tart, which is a Revlon lip butter. And then on top of that, I put Smashbox Melon Drama to give it sort of like a coral, peachy kind of look, but still pink. For my blush, I used Max Pink Swoon. It's a true pink color, but it still goes on really sheer. And now time to let my hair down, and we're pretty much done. All I added to this look was my little flower crown that I made. Um, thumbs up this video if you like this look, and if you want a DIY on the little flower crown. Also, I've been making them like crazy. I just think it's so fun and pretty for summer, and it's really in right now, too. This is my baby, you guys. Duchess. She's a min pin. She looks kind of like a chihuahua, though. But her brother looks like a min pin. My family is a bunch of dogs. Bunch of dogs. Say hi. Hi. Oh. Oh, no, you 